right, we'd like to welcome Chris Goddard up into the interview room here at the Barbasol Championship 2022. Um, Chris, you're here uh, via a great finish last week at the John Deere Classic. I think your t uh, top five, top ten finish gets you into this tournament. Um, I, I, you, you've, you've had a stellar college career at uh, first Rutgers and the OU. You just won the Haskins Award and the Nicholas Award. What, what's that transition been like um, from college to the PGA Tour? You've played like, I think, four tournaments as a professional. Yeah, it's been... Um been crazy so far I, you know I haven't really the last two days I was home and that was the first two days I've been home since since New Year's Eve or something like that so it honestly feels like it's just been going like college um, just without my teammates that's all it is so I got my buddy cat in for me so other than that it's been it's been like process as usual yeah, it's interesting. A lot of guys would say yeah it's very different you know things are done for you in college and now you have to kind yeah. of manage on your own um, have you had an, a, you probably haven't had a chance to look at the golf course yet here I'm, I'm guessing no I just pulled in so I'm gonna go I, we're gonna go try to sneak out and drive around and uh, check it out this afternoon how nice was it to have a couple of days where you just could chill after uh, after the last four or five weeks of yeah pretty... it, it was the last month and a half has been mayhem in my life so it was nice to go home and sit on the couch with the dogs and go to the beach and hang out and uh, just kind of do my own thing uh, what, what's been the most outstanding difference, though? Like, um, you know, uh, uh, playing on a team at college compared to coming out and, and being an individual on the professional tour. What what has uh, stood out to you, the biggest difference, do you think? Uh, just the individual part of it. Like, you're just doing everything by yourself. Um, so you either got to figure it out, figure it out on your own, or you're going to get you're going to get stuck out here just in a constant loop of, you know, being frustrated or whatnot. So. Uh, I've just been working really hard on, you know, trying to find good, good time usage on the range and stuff like that, and um, yeah, just just trying to use my time properly because once you get to Thursday, there's not much of it. Right. Has the transition been a little surprising for you with the success you've had, or have you kind of anticipated or expected that to happen pretty quickly? Um, I, you know, I would have thought my game would have translated pretty well to to pro golf. Not that it's, you know, golf's golf. Um, but I just think that, you know, my style of play fits kind of the PGA Tour pretty well. So, um, you know, I don't want to say I was expected to come out here and, you know, go come top five in the first couple of weeks. But I was expecting to, you know, play well at some point And uh, I'm happy to be in the position I am right now and hopefully can keep it going. Okay, if we have any questions, just raise your hand and we'll get you a microphone. We've got one right here. Yep, go ahead, sir. Yeah, Chris, just wonder, have you played any golf at Kentucky before? And just kind of what do you think of this area? Uh, I've only driven through Kentucky, so this is my first time being here. So I'm excited to tee it up, and um, I've heard great things. So uh, hopefully it's not a gazillion degrees this week, but uh, <laughs> it'll be fun for sure. Anything else for Chris? Um, uh, how was your overall experience for the first time being down here? What was that again? How was your overall experience for your first time being at this uh, golf course? Uh, I've been here for about 15 minutes, so I can't, <laughs> I can't answer that question too well right now, but I'll get back to you at some point. This is a big opportunity this week. Um, you know, I just want to give an example, like Seamus Powell won last year. Um, it was his first victory, and now he's in the top 40 in the world playing at the, the Open Championship next week. Obviously, a good performance here could get you into that tournament. Like, what, how do you view this event um, sort of as a bonus being here, I guess? For me, in the position I'm in right now, each week that I'm playing, whether it's Barbasol or whether it's, you know, the, the biggest event I can play in at the moment is they're all massive opportunities for me to, you know, kind of keep climbing the ladder a little bit. And mm -hmm. um, obviously... You like you said, Seamus goes and wins, and he skyrockets to where he is now. So, you know, I think it's the same for every other person that's playing this week. There, it's a life-changing opportunity to play, and it's just every every week. Like last week was a huge moment for me in my yeah. career. So, I think each week, as as long as I can keep building on something, it'll be it'll be meaningful. I have another question back here. Um, if you weren't playing golf, where would you be? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question, and um, 
I don't know. I'd probably be, I, you know, all my friends are working in on Wall Street or working in, uh, not that I'm, not that I would be doing that. I'm not as smart as they are, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be, you know, taking the ferry with my dad to New York City and working in the city. So uh, I'm happy to be in Kentucky playing golf rather than hopping on that ferry. Chris, a lot was made of the letter that you wrote to Claire Peterson last week that earned you the invitation to play. Um, ha have you written other letters? Have, what's your sort of plan going forward? Have you, have you received any other invites coming up? Or? Yeah, so when I, when I went through that process, I wrote letters to all the events that I knew I had a chance to like play in schedule-wise. Um, so, you know, I just wrote what I thought would be uh, helpful to them to get to know me and, you know, how I know that um, you know their event could could help me out as well. Um, so yeah, I wrote I wrote all that, and I've I've written follow up letters to you know the events that are coming up after this as well. And um, yeah, I just kind of you know just kind of keep sticking my name out there. And um, obviously, if you play well, it helps as well. But um, yeah, I just been I just been trying to keep my name in the mix for sure. Go ahead, Pookie. Are you more of a goal-oriented type of person, or are you the type that just comes out, sees what your game gives you, and builds off of that? Yeah, in other words, you coming out with expectations, or with this being kind of a new ground for you, you just kind of waiting to see how it all shakes out? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm big in the expectations area, because I struggle with, you know, if that's all I'm thinking about, then I'm not focused on what I got to do day-to-day -day basis-wise. Um, so I try not to put too much on my plate, honestly. I'll just, like, showing up today, I'm just going to go hang out and hit a couple of balls and check out the course and get after it tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I, I try not to think too far ahead of what could could be happening. And just finally, um, you said this is, this is your first trip to Kentucky, your first time you played golf here. Uh, when you uh, come to an event now, having had a pretty stressful month, I guess, of golf, Will you try and make time to do things away from the golf course here, maybe take a little sightseeing or maybe a couple of trips somewhere? Yeah, we were talking about it on the way to the airport last night. Um, I'm, I definitely want to check out Churchill Downs for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I have some friends that went to Kentucky as well, so I'm going to try to check that out. And um, obviously golf comes first, but I'm going to cool. try to try to kill some time checking out some areas because you never know when you, if you're going to come back here or whatever. So I want to I wanna check that out while I can. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate your time, Chris, and good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you.